So first of all, uh, thank you very much for inviting us and, uh, and this opportunity to share with you all the uh, trends in innovation funding. So uh, let's first, uh, let me introduce my uh, Zavala. Well, um, uh, Zavala, as you see, well, we brings together 270 uh, professionals, uh, experienced advisors located internationally, as well across multiple, multiple offices in Europe and Latin. So more than 33 years of experience. Uh, we work since the first work program, um, European work program. Um, here uh, you can see the, the three uh, own offices uh, across Europe and, and South America in Colombia. Um, in Belgium, we are uh, based uh, around 20 people uh, here in Barcelona. Um, uh, and. Uh, the head of office in Barcelona, in Catalonia, and we are uh, almost uh, 22. Um, across Europe, uh, I, sorry, across uh, uh, the world, we have uh, some partners, um, 30 partners in total. Uh, so we can see some uh, funding opportunities in different countries depending on the on the um, well, on the activities that our clients are doing there. Um, as, uh, as our service, uh, uh, well, we assist clients in defining their innovation and, and entrepreneurship uh, strategy and process, and help them to access uh, to grant funding uh, and tax incentives from a number of regional, national, European funding bodies and tax authorities. So as you can see, grant funding and, and tax incentives here. But also we have some other um, services uh, uh, as uh, we work for the uh, public sector, for uh, the uh, government authorities in Europe or in Spain. So, uh, doing uh, some studies, uh, um, diagnostics. Uh, we have um, right now a free technology and diagnostic possibility to companies in order to identify their capabilities. So, it's free. Uh, you can apply if, uh, for this, uh, for this service. In, uh, to Zavala. Uh, also, we have a social innovation area and a strategic position in Europe. It's more related with uh, advocacy and lobby for the, um, uh, for the topics and, and working programs uh, coming. Uh, yeah, our methodology uh, yeah, is uh, well, it's a grant management comprehensive service. So we are. We, we give support uh, our clients from the idea until the end of the project life. I mean, the, from the strategy planning uh, definition, the, the different uh, public funding opportunities and tax incentives, uh, the proposal planning uh, to, to, to take, uh, and also the write down the, the, the proposals, uh, technical, economical, and organizing management, all through uh, the process we assist our clients. So we have uh, four experts here. Uh, we have uh, our advisors are uh, experts in, in all kind of um, um, uh, areas. Uh, I mean, uh, life science, digital transformation, social, societal challenge, and industrial. So we can we can assist you know, our clients in different sectors. Um, uh, some figures while well, related to Spain funding, we are. Well, we present more than 2,000 projects per year, and Sedetic is the main body here in Spain for grant funding opportunities. Uh, we are more or less at 12 percent of the of the, of the projects approved. In tax incentives, uh, we well, also we move more than 1,000 uh, projects for tax relief uh, incentives, and in the European. Uh, 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 well, well, I mean, in the Eurozone Europe, uh, uh, Eurozone 2020, sorry, uh, we have reached more than half billion uh, euros for our clients, uh, the current return for our clients, uh, more than 800 uh, partners uh, during the last uh, 10 years uh, we collaborated with them, lead more than 600 projects, and we fund proposals uh, around 37 percent, taking into account that the European average is 11. The last year we reached uh, 40 percent, so we are really happy about this. Um, uh, also, uh, as uh, case studies, while well, we, we collaborate in, in projects, we are partners, or, or also we, well, this, we, we, we 
um, we manage the secretariat of different platforms, as uh, smart grids, uh, smart cities, uh, and uh, the European battery platform, for instance. Uh, and in, dif in different fields, as you can see here, so from the innovation management, energy, digital transformation, social innovation, and health and bio. So we collaborate with more than 8,000 clients from companies, technology centers, and public bodies. Uh, we try to, to collaborate with all of them. Um, well, the main fund is opportunities for photonics and agrofruit in, in European programs. Um, related to Horizon 2020, as um, most of you may know, um, well, there are um, different types. Uh, um, there's um, the European Research Council and Future Emerging Technologies, more related with basic research, and also in the excellence uh, science. Um, and in the industrial leadership, there is the ICT, and uh, that is more collaborative uh, research and development projects. Also, the innovation and SMEs that is more related with projects near to market with high risk market impact. And also, in the societal challenge, um, there's a food uh, pillar uh, that uh, is uh, with well, collaborative research and development projects. Um, right now, sorry, but uh, all the food calls related with Horizon 2020 are closed, uh, so uh, specifically related with, with food. But there are still some opportunities. I mean, there's the there's ICT um, program. This uh, cross-edge uh, uh, program that, uh, well, that has some uh, opportunities related with uh, with uh, food. Uh, so this, uh, this is the first one that um, ICT is 36. It is a uh, distributed photonics technologies uh, allocated with 47 million euros for research and innovation actions in, in four fields. Uh, at least one proposal will be selected to cover each of these things. So um, under the line will be uh, uh, in, in middle, uh, well, uh, uh, in June, uh, 17 of June. So also there's another topic um, uh, relating with advancing photonics technologies and application driving photonics companies and the innovation ecosystems with an allocation of 49 million euros. Um, and then in different uh, themes, uh, research and innovation action 30 million, so flexible farm to fork sensing and novel photonic interface circuits. Uh, also, innovation actions more close to market that created with smart photonics for environmental pollution detection sensing and uh, coordination and support action. You know? So, and this is also the line is uh, well, will be on, um, in, on June. Um, uh, there's also another, another topic, um, uh, Photonics Innovation Hubs, with a budget of 20 million euros. Um, well, that, uh, here uh, they see they, they, they are looking for an industrial strategy for photonics in Europe, but uh, it can be interesting also uh, for, for you. There are also other opportunities uh, re uh, related to, to SMEs, uh, companies. So it's called the European Innovation Council Accelerator, IC Accelerator. Um, and this uh, individual is missing with high risk, high growth potential aimed at creating markets. So must be close to the to their markets. No, no, they are not looking for for projects uh, or with research or basic research uh, um, activities. Substantial funding for the last stage of development. It's a bottom-up. All sectors, product service, and new business models can be can be can, can be fitted. Uh, the grant will be from half million to two and a half million euros, uh, with a funding rate of 70 percent of the total cost of project. And also, there's a possibility with equity option, uh, a blended finance, uh, plus up to 50 million euros. This is more related with the all the um, manufacturing phase and uh, the final process to, to bring the product to the market. And the, the lines are in middle of May. Uh, only for the only Green Deal, I will take, I uh, will talk about this uh, Green Deal later. And so must be related with the Green Deal. Um, and uh, the next one uh, will, uh, will be on, in October. So if you are not 
your product no, no fit well with the green deal, uh, you have to work in the market. Uh, there's also another opportunity. The Fast Track uh, Innovation Innovation Program is uh, well, it's, um, it's a program that is is close to with just two cut-off days. Uh, so it's the only fully bottom-up measure in Innovation 2020, promoting close to the market innovation activity, and that's, that is open to all types of participants. Uh, it's a fast go to market of an industry driven innovative concept to grow and scale up. Grant only, uh, bottom up, um, and consortium must be from of three of five uh, from European uh, countries, industry uh, companies from European countries. Uh, it's a mandatory that industry must be involved. And up to 3 million euros uh, is the contribution that uh, we will get from this opportunity. So the latest would have updates will be in June and, and in October, last ones. Uh, there's an, another, another program uh, called PRIMA. It's a partnership for research and innovation just in the Mediterranean area, but well, uh, it's talking about uh, agro-food systems, so knowledge and com uh, common initiative solutions for uh, agro-food systems, and more related with farming systems and agro-food value chains. So there's uh, some costs open right now, that are closing, the deadline will be in on May, yes, uh, beginning of May, but uh, well, it can be also interesting in agro food value chains and farming systems. Uh, there are also other opportunities for the, the European Green Deal, as I said before. Um, what is the European Green Deal? The European Green Deal is set also how to make Europe the first climate neutral continent by 2050, uh, boosting the economy improving people's health and quality of life. Um, well, it's a roadmap, uh, making the European Union economy sustainable. And well, uh, the main objectives uh, will be require significant investments. So achieving the current 2030 climate and energy targets is estimated to require 260 billion eh, of the additional annual investments. So it will be a great opportunity for companies. There's a call, there's a draft um, uh, that is not uh, released yet. The main part of the call foc focus on innovative solutions and demonstrations. There are um, 11 areas uh, where you can address the, uh, your price, and there's one with uh, farm, uh, farm to fork, uh, so for our, our food uh, industries. And the expected uh, launch of the call will be in September 2020, under the line in, in January of, of the next year. So, so the more, more more specific about the of this call, um, um, well, the title is from Fram to Fork, uh, testing and demonstrating high impact innovations to address persistent challenges in a place-based context. Four pressing food system challenges must, uh, uh, must be taken into account and resulting in four target impacts, as you can see here below. Um, the project will be um, uh, maximize uh, the synergies and minimize the trade off between the three dimensions of sustainability, social health, climate, environmental, and economic. And address one of the four challenges and integrate the following elements uh, that you can see here below. So, you must take all this uh, into account if you want to address of, of this topic. Uh, also, there will be another opportunity in the coming uh, research and innovation program uh, called Innovation Europe, as, as most of you may, may know. Um, well, it's the next research and innovation framework, framework program, and uh, the duration will be from the next year until 2027, an expected budget of 100 billion uh, for. for Euros uh, for the research activities. Uh, uh, due to the well, to the coronavirus, uh, the, right now the, 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 the European Commission has been started in negotiations for uh, the, the contingency plans for the multiannual final sum framework. And well, but the expected uh, maybe will be some changes due to the coronavirus, and maybe well, will be some delays. But no, nevertheless, uh, the European Commission will have a plan B and plan C 
I mean, plan B will be maybe extend the budget for at least one year. Um, and plan C will be maybe operate month to month from January 2021. This is uh, all this plan B and plan C have been uh, take it, uh, well, have been, been done before. So in other in uh, framework programs, uh, so it's not new for, for the commission to do this. Um, well, uh, the, the Horizon Europe have three pillars, uh, as you can see, the European Science Council for basic research, as we say, that will be some opportunities, digital industry and space, and food, bioeconomy, and natural resources, agriculture, and environment, more related with collaborative research and development projects, uh, the pillar two. And also the pillar three, Innovative Europe, will be the European Innovation Council, where we can where we will see some opportunities to do. Apply. Let me uh, just tell a little about the Spanish programs that uh, also uh, can be interesting. Uh, Felipe, uh, that time is time is over. Okay. Then be we as quick as you can. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Yeah, the best condition the first of you uh, of the, the the Spanish company by Cedeti, so it's a bottom up scheme and it's pretty nice. Also, there's the Misiones, the new industrial research cooperation program. That uh, the last cut off will be made. That is pretty good for for for, for you. And also, uh, well, there are some already activities uh, that uh, you can uh, expand to that uh, you can be released uh, for, for you. Um, uh, well, many thanks. Uh, here I see my contact details. Any, don't hesitate to contact if you have any doubt or you want to check any idea that you have. And thank you very much for your attention. Okay, Felipe, thank you very much for the large and the wide explanation. It was uh, really interesting to know all the all the opportunities and all the possibilities to fund uh, the the ideas, the projects. Thank you very much. Now let's go with the questions. First one from Katarzyna Unimos from AgroBio Alliance. Um, she says, "Will the Horizon Europe have the same type of projects, research, and uh, RIA innovation actions and CSAs to be funded?" Yeah, we expect so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You we expect so that will be real. Yeah, same type. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Any other question for for Felipe? No. Anyway, Felipe, you can you can leave your uh, oh. email in the chat uh, for the attendees to to make uh, specific questions through through the email. And thank you very much for sharing uh, your your knowledge about the possibilities. Sure. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.